Hello guys, for today's video, I am going to discuss a non-perfect square root. A non-perfect square is every number that is not the result of squaring an integer with itself. Example of non-perfect numbers. 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, etc. Now let's review this symbol. This symbol is called radical symbol. And the exponent from the left is called index. And the x inside the radical symbol is called radicand. x is equal to c, and c is called root. This symbol is used to denote square root. Okay. Now let's simplify non-perfect square roots. We have radical symbol. So 20 is a non- perfect number. So, lagay natin ang 20 sa loob ng radical symbol. Then, mag-isip ka ng number na pwede mong i-multiply para makuha mo ang sagot na 20. And that would be 4 times 5. Four times five is equal to twenty. Then I factor out natin ng four. And that will be two times two. Is equal to four. Okay. Then ang two ay ilagay mo sa labas ng square root. At ang 5 ay mararetain sa loob ng square root. Kaya ang sagot natin ay 2 square root of 5. So what is the square root of 20? The square root of 20 is 2 square root of 5. Next, square root of 12. Twelve is a non-perfect number. So, ilagay natin sa loob ng radical symbol. Okay. Then, mag-isip ka ng number na pwede mong i-multiply para makuha mo ang sagot na twelve. And that would be four times three. Four times three is equal to twelve. To twelve, then I factor out natin ng four, and that would be two times two. Is equal to four. Okay, at ang two ay ilagay natin sa labas ng square root. At ang 3 ay mararitain sa loob ng square root. Okay. So, what is square root of 12? Ang square root ng 12 ay 2 square root of 3. Okay. Next. Next. 
square root of 28. 28 is a non-perfect number. So, lagay natin sa loob ng radical symbol. So, mag-isip ka ng number na pwede mong i-multiply para makuha mo ang sagot na 28. And that would be 4 times 7. Then, i-factor out natin ang 4. That would be 2 times 2. Is equal to 4. Okay. Then, ilagay mo ang 2 sa labas ng square root. At i-retain mo ang 7 sa loob ng square root. Now, ang square root ng 28 ay 2 square root of 7. Okay, clear. Next, square root of 63. 63 is a non-perfect number. So, ilagay natin sa loob ng radical symbol. So, mag-isip ka ng number na pwede mong i-multiply para makuha natin ang sagot na 63. And that would be 9 times 7. Then, i-factor out mo ang 9. And that would be 3 times 3. equal to 9. Okay. Then, ilagay mo ang 3 sa labas ng square root. At ang 7 ay mareretain sa loob ng square root. So, what is the square root of 63? Square root of 63 is 3 square root of 7. Clear. Next, square root of 48. Forty-eight is a non-perfect number. So, lagay natin ang 48 sa loob ng radical symbol. So, mag-isip ka ng number na pwede mong i-multiply para makuha mo ang 48 na sagot. And that would be 16 times 3. Then, i-factor out natin ang 16. And that would be 4 times 4. Is equal to 16. Okay? At ang 4 ay ilagay mo sa labas ng square root. At ang 3 ay mareretain sa loob ng square root. So, what is square root of 48? Square root of 48 is 4 square root of 3. Malinaw. Last one. Square root of 75. Seventy-five is a non-perfect number. So, ilagay natin sa loob ng radical symbol. So, mag-isip ka ng number na pwede mong i-multiply para makuha mo ang sagot na seventy-five. And that would be twenty-five times three. At i-factor out mo ang 25. And that would be 5 times 5.
is equal to 25. Okay. At ang 5 ay ilagay mo sa labas ng square root. At ang 3 ay mareretain sa loob ng square root. Okay. So, what is square root of 75? Square root of 75 is 5 square root of 3. Okay, clear? Okay guys, hanggang dito na lamang tayo. Until next time, thank you.